Okay team, listen up. If we want our battle royale to be the next big hit, we need something fresh and exciting. What do we got? Oh, oh, boss, what if we added building? Fortnite already did that, you idiot. Aww. What else we got? Oh, I know. What if we just add a battle royale game mode to an already established game? You mean like Call of Duty did? What else we got? Oh, oh, what if we just come up with an entirely original concept instead of, you know, copying what has already been done? That's the worst idea I've ever heard in my entire life. Get out, you're fired. But boss, I- I do not want to hear it. Get out, and before you go, leave your keys, name badge, and jelly beans on the table. But, but these are my jelly beans. Yank. Hey, those are mine. La, Stop. La, 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 you can't have them. Stop. Stop. Uh -huh, they're Stop. our jelly beans now. Stop, please. They're going to fall, guys. Fall, guys. guys. Um, boss? Y you, you okay? That's it! Hey guys, I'm Reza. And I'm Dee. We're in a long distance relationship. And this is our review of Fall Guys. Battle Royale, a genre of game that's been trending since its popularization in 2017 with PUBG. Getting tossed from the sky into a map full of hundreds of other players, grabbing whatever gear you can get your dirty hands on, and killing as many other people as possible. All for a single goal to be the last person standing. And at the time, it was a pretty original concept too. But now, with other skydiving simulators like Fortnite, Apex Legends, and Call of Duty Blackout, the concept of last person standing has been getting a little stale. Then, Mediatonic came in and was like, who needs guns and murder when you can just have Japanese-styled game shows combined with jelly beans? We're like sperm trying to make it to the egg. Fall Guys is a game in which up to 60 players compete to be the last player standing. Each game consists of several rounds, with each round featuring one of the 20 different maps. At the end of each round, a number of players are eliminated, and it continues in this fashion until only one is left. You can create parties of up to 4 players before queuing, so that you can play in the same match together. Like all other battle royales, the goal is the same, be the last one alive. But instead of guns, you have races to the finish line. Baby, you're almost there! Oh, you made it! Instead of randomly generated loot, you have Run. Rocket League with Jelly Bean. I'm playing defense, I'm playing defense. Oh no! No, no, no! Oh, no. Instead of riddling each other with bullets, you let gravity do all the work for you. <laughs> so what do we like about the game? Straight off the bat, Fall Guys is just really fun. And I'm not just talking about the gameplay. From the moment we booted up the game, we were greeted with energetic music and plenty of colors. Then you see your Baymax looking character and you just wanna Not to mention the cute sound effects that the jelly beans make when they're jumping around. And also, look at all the cute skins! Riz, look at the slurpy skin over there! Y yes dear, I, I see oh, it! Oh, Riz! Riz, there's some fries over there too! Are you looking, Riz? Y yes babe, I'm looking- oh, oh babe! Babe, there's an astronaut! Oh, I want to be an astronaut! Keep in mind that the skins do have to be bought in order to unlock them using kudos and crowns, which is the game's currency. You can either earn these through playing the game or by spending real money. But rest assured folks, the game is not pay to win. All the items are purely cosmetic, which means players who choose to spend real money on the game don't get an unfair advantage. What I appreciate about the game is how easy it is to pick up and play. With only three main buttons you have to learn, that being for jump, dive and grab, there's not much else to it. I don't have a huge history with video games, so my gaming experience is little to none. But that's why I gravitate so much to a game like this. It doesn't ask the player to have any prior gaming experience, nor does it have a huge learning curve. It's just simple fun for anyone. I should however mention that with my current skills, I really struggle to make it past the first round. So while the controls are easy to pick up, they're kinda hard to master, well, at least for me. But babe, that's one of the best parts of this game. Excuse me? Okay, look, hear me out. In a long distance relationship, one of the key elements to a successful one is communication. And a major component of communication is positive affirmation. Now because Dee is so terrible at the game, I'm constantly giving her words of encouragement. See, I never get to the fun games because the elimination games are always the first Babe, you can't thought. say it like that. Come on. Positive. Okay, I'm sorry. Say you will make it now. I'll make it. No, louder. I'll make it. That's right. What is, what will you make? Babies. <laughs> no. And on the other hand, because I'm so much better, D is constantly rooting for me from the spectator screen. You got this, baby. 
You're almost there, baby. Okay, just hold on a minute. It's so easy for you to say that. You have no idea what it's like to have to constantly spectate while you continue to play. While the controls are definitely easy to pick up, it gets kind of discouraging when I keep losing over and over again. At first, I was confident and optimistic. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Positivity. Positivity jump. But then, after losing 50 times in a row, I sounded more like this. I hate it. I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! <gasps> they oh, are, they... I hate it! <laughs> I don't know which way I'm going! <laughs> Another thing we love about the game is how fast-paced and simple it is. As soon as the game says go, you go into full-on panic mode as you try to take the lead. The game always gets super hectic as all the jelly beans try to fit into the narrow paths, which lead to some pretty funny ragdoll physics. Ah! Oh, I got thrown off! Ah! Ah! But even in all this hectic mayhem, you always know what to do or where to go. The game is pretty linear, which makes the goals very obvious. And if you do somehow manage to get lost, you can always just copy what all the other players are doing. On top of that, since the game plays in matches, rather than being one long, consistent game, a player who only plays for 30 minutes a day doesn't lose out from a player who spends their whole day playing. In other words, it's a game that you can jump in and out of at your own leisure. Plus, because of how fast-paced the game is, you can play a whole bunch of matches in a short amount of time. This makes it perfect for people in LDRs with massive time differences. If your morning is their night, and you only have an hour to play, Fall Guys is definitely one to look at. However, we should clarify that Fall Guys is not a game you play with your party per se. Yes, when you queue as a party, you end up in the same match and you play with one another, but you're not necessarily interacting with each other in game. Remember, Fall Guys is a competitive free-for-all kind of game, which means only one person wins. There's also up to 60 other players in a single match, which means you'll probably end up losing your party members in the crowd of jelly beans. This isn't a bad thing, but it just means that if you're looking for a game where you work together with your party, this may not be for you. Hey Riz, do you know what happens when you fall, guys? Um, what? You go down. Now, on to the downsides. First, we had some issues in the beginning connecting to the servers. The worst was when we were waiting for about 30 minutes just to find a game. This was a result of how quickly the game rose in popularity. I don't think the developers knew how popular their game was about to become, and thus, their servers were simply not optimized to handle the load. However, as we continued to play, we noticed that we were finding games much more consistently. So we can probably expect this issue to fizzle out over time as the player base becomes more stable. Another major thing is the number of cheaters in the game. If you've ever played any online game, you know that there will always be cheaters. However, it seems to be a bit more evident in Fall Guys simply because the game is quite new. However, the developers are aware of the problem and are in the process of implementing an anti-cheat software similar to Fortnite. So, fingers crossed we can see these cheaters fall to their demise. Nice one, Rez. We've also noticed quite a few bugs in the game. Again, this is probably due to the game's recent release. Plus, in some cases, bugs can actually enhance the game experience. Nothing beats seeing Rez fall to his death due to a bug. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck! Oh, did, oh, did you see that? Gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so not cool! Also, as people who only play the game when we're in a party together, we're constantly having to spectate one another when one of us dies. This is fine, however, there is no way for us to quickly spectate our teammates. Instead, we have to cycle through each and every player in the game until we find our teammate. Next, we wish there was a way to host private matches for you and your friends. It'd be super sweet if we could gather all our friends and just have a couple of rounds together so we could hang out and bond. Or even just the option to have more than four people in a party. Fall Guys seems like a party game, in the same fashion as Mario Party, so it kind of makes sense to have the ability to play with a party-sized group of people. Also, keep in mind that there's no crossplay. So, unfortunately, PC and PS4 players are currently locked to playing with people on the same platform. Now, PS4 players also keep in mind that there's no local co-op, just in case you wanted to play this with your roommates or whoever. But ultimately, all the negatives about this game are pretty much just linked to its recent release. We kind of feel that it's a bit unfair to bash the game for having these issues so fresh into its life, but we did think it was important to mention nonetheless. So anyway guys, let's move on to talking- Hey, watch out! Wh what Something's falling! Is it a bird? No. Is it a plane? No way! It's just our final ratings. In a few words, Fall Guys is fun and refreshing. 
Okay, maybe not refreshing. At least not relaxing or refreshing. I can get pretty stressed when I play it, but it is fun refreshing. Like if you're bored of the same games you play every day and you want something new and well, joyful refreshing. You get me? Anyway, I'm rating this game 8 out of 10 astronauts. Gotta give kudos to the developers. See what I did there? So what do you think, Riz? So straight up, this game is fun as hell. It's just pure mayhem and I freaking love it. The game is super casual and doesn't ask its players to take it super seriously. I think it's perfect for anyone trying to get someone into gaming. More specifically, if you're in a relationship and you're trying to get your significant other to play games, I think this is a perfect way to get their foot into the door. While the main objective is to win the game, I also just have a lot of fun playing with Dee and rooting for her as she fights her way through the obstacles. The game definitely has its issues due to its recent release, so we're hoping to see those issues fixed up as the game goes through its life cycle. I'm giving Fall Guys a rating of 8 out of 10 pirates. Hey, you're copying my score! Well, that's been our review of Fall Guys. If you're looking for a casual competitive experience, you've definitely come to the right place. While the game can get frustrating if you're bad, like me, there's definitely still some fun to be had just from playing the game and sharing some laughs with whoever you're playing with. So we definitely recommend checking it out. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the episode. Not many make it this far, and if you did, you're a top-notch jelly bean. If you like the review, give us a like, maybe subscribe, come on, you know the deal. If you've already played Fall Guys, comment your experience down below. And as always, recommend us more games, please. Anyway guys, hope you have a lovely day, peace.